not important to me before, before God approached me with it. What, what that, you know, because nobody else where I was was teaching it. I said where I was. I didn't say nobody else was teaching it. Okay? So, so, no, so, nobody else was dealing with that. And I kind of lost my place here. So the Lord approached me with it. So it's not that I didn't know it. I knew about it. But it wasn't a lesson of the man. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Okay. But now it is. It is now a lesson of the man. Okay. When the Lord approached me. Now bear with me. Because you some, the Lord going to share something with you. Because we're dealing with the house. We're dealing with building the house. Am I right? Yeah. So when the Lord approached me with it, it came strong. Mm -hmm. It came strong until I had to ask him that question. Right. Because it was nothing of the night. It was nothing that I was used to. So he said unto me, and listen at what he said unto me. He said, that I am before I am above all. Boy, I ain't got no I am greater than any entity and any denomination. What did God just do there? He just introduced himself to me. God, you know what I'm saying? He just told me who he was. He was about, okay, so what could I, what could I, I couldn't do nothing but agree with him. I had to say yes, Lord. This is, I'm just sharing. So the church, the Lord told me to share this. He said, so the church is not yours. It's not mine. Oh, I God help us. The church belongs to God. And Christ is the head of the church. That's it. So one day, I was, and these are experiences. One day, I was sitting in the church. Praying. And while I was praying, the Lord came in and he spoke and he said, The church is mine. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Is. But when he said it, he said it in such a way till they cut me. Mm -hmm. oh. Kind of almost offended. A little bit, you know, like as if, you know, I didn't know that. God help us in. But, so I told him, I said, Lord, I know it's yours. And. So he didn't say nothing else, so I tried to get back. Not like you take him back out your hands out. I tried to get back in prayer again. And when I tried to get back in prayer again, he came back and he said, I said the church is mine. Yes. 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 Wow. Yes. wow. My goodness. So I know my experience is normally when God says something twice, uh -huh. he's ready to talk. Yes. Uh, hello, somebody. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he's ready to talk to you. So so I just sat still. I just waited on him to say something. So hear what he said. He said, the people are mine. Well. Wow. The building is mine. Yeah. The land is mine. All of
apostle, then I think I'm going on my way. Okay. I'm on my way to become it. And we deal with the matter about the apostle being a sinner. And I watch God establish me. Oh, God, I am. Yes. He, he, he established one that he called. Yes. So he may call you. So then when he called me, it's amazing that when what he was getting ready to do, he had a friend of mine to call me and say, oh, I need you to come down and, and share an immense conference. And I said, okay, I'll come and preach. I said, what's, what's your subject? He said, not my will, but thine will. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> that was his text. But that was God dealing on dealing with me. Yeah. Oh, do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. God help us here. This is what I want. This is not your will. This is what I want. So when I got there, the man that you that you talk about that died and went on. I gotta share this because it's the way the Lord tells me to go. So uh, when I got there the very next day, he came in, so I was sitting down eating, and when I was sitting down eating, he looked around at me, and I said, I got ready to speak to him, he said, oh no, I'll wait. So he went around, he really couldn't wait. He went around to the other side, when he got around to the other side, he said, can I say something to you? And I said, yes sir. He told me everything that was going on with me. That I was in transition. Yeah. Coming from a large church. Yeah. Uh, did you hear what I'm saying? But listen, but let me share something with you. God wanted me to have that mantle. Because he stayed in Titusville and I didn't have enough money for gas to get to him. Come on. Yeah. And he was in the hospital. Do, do you hear what I'm saying? Let me tell you what the hospital did. The hospital transferred him all the way to Orange Park. Yeah. Oh, I got nobody in this place, do you? Come on, because God wanted me to have something, do you? And when I walked in the room, when I walked in the room, his face lit up. And when his face lit up, I said, oh, I just come to bring a presence. And when I said that, the power of God hit the building. And both of us God, you know, praising God. But I looked at him, and I saw him underneath the mask, speaking in tongues. And I tried to get there the next day, and he was gone. Say, but you won't take this home with you. Right. God, do you hear what I'm saying? Come on, you got to understand. Miles knew what he was talking about. Yeah. He knew what he was talking about, you know, because he was dealing with the matter of too many things are in the grave, too many gifts are in the grave. That's right. Hello? My God. Too many mantles are in the grave. My God. They didn't get a chance to carry it, us, a lay it, or give it to nobody. You're talking good. Oh, well, 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 you're well, talking well, good. That's revelation. But I don't understand what you're talking about. And we got to call these young men in and we got to start preparing them and getting them ready. Hello, yeah. And stop thinking that I got to preach every Sunday because it ain't about me. Oh, yeah. It's all about what God wants done. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying? And then you start really. Uh, Causing God to be glorified. Yeah. When you get into that place of where you're causing others to become. That's right. Hello, do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So what, what are you doing there? You're working out God's will that He have for you. My God. Teach us up. So she, she's a pastor. And, and, and I'm now, you know, because you know church of God of Christ didn't no believe in your pastor. No, sir. I was scared to even appoint her as a pastor. This shit is something. I was scared to appoint her. You know, so one Sunday, you know, I told her after I got, I said, when I get to preaching, I'm giving the mic to you. When I got to preaching, I gave the mic to somebody else. Come on. Yeah. Then when I turned around, it came back, it came to me what I had done. Mm. 
So then I, next Sunday, I preach. I say, when I get through preaching, I'm going to give the mic to you. And this time, I went over this way and gave it to somebody. But I'm going to tell you what happened. When I turned around this time, she was standing at the podium like this. And when she stood at the podium like this, the Lord said, all right. Give me a date. My God. We're going to make it happen. My God. Do, do you hear what I'm saying? Yes. So I'm trying to share with you now. We're still dealing with the building. The Lord is doing this. You ain't doing it. We ain't doing it. God's doing it. Yes. Hello, somebody. So he, so he said, okay, the people of mine, so talk about that. I'm going down where I where I need to get to. Take your time. So he said unto me, okay, that I, okay, I already got that too. Yes, <laughs> well, I've I really been going, ain't I? I've been going. So what God was really doing, he was working out his plan, you know, in my life, you know, of all of the things that was happening to me, he was working out the plan. So God had something great for me. Yes. God don't have anything little for me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh God, so to prove it. Yeah, you know, somebody. Then, then after that, then the guy, then the guy ended up saying, "Tom, I said, man, I, you know, I really appreciate you all. You know, you say that because of you, your humility and your love and kindness. How are you supposed to treat people? You know." And but he turned around and said to me, he said, "No." I appreciate you. Yeah. Because you showed this. Yeah. <clears throat> Quickly now, I want to talk about Samuel. I'm almost done out here. God may allow you to do something, but He wants it back. Come on, sir. God help us. Because it's not yours. Neither is it for you. It's for His glory and for His purpose. So God gave Hannah a male child, but she gave him back to God. So here's here's what God gave me. Now this, you know, you can you can interpret it like you wanna. He told me that Samuel can represent your life. Wow. It can represent your gift. God. It can represent your ministry. Wow. Yeah. And, and then he said, it can represent everything you got. Hello. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So everything that God has given you, God said, give it back. Mm -hmm. Now, God is not an Indian giver. Hello, somebody here. He's not an Indian giver, but he's telling you to give it back because he know more what to do with it than you do. Yeah. Oh, I ain't got nobody to you. So, so, so he said this. Uh, I always lose my place. Y'all told me to take my time. So he, he told, so he's asking you to give it back. Okay. And then he said, now watch what I do with it. Okay. Now, what the Lord said to me, he said, when it came to Samuel, not one word fell to the ground. Amen. That's it. Now, you might about to say this to you. That's what's happening to you. Oh, yeah. You struggle. And you went through a lot of stuff. Yeah. But you're in the day. Thank and God you. say not one word will fall into the ground. Yeah. 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 You don't have to worry about who don't like you. Hello, somebody here. But they didn't like Samuel either. Hello, but they but he did the work. God has proven himself yes, yes. that when you step on the ground, the atmosphere changes. Yes, 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 yes. And what God loves about it, I've got to hurry, but what God loves about it, you train your son. Yes, yes. That wherever he go, yes, right. don't worry about the people that don't like you. Don't yes. Yes. The Lord has allowed me to share this. With you, okay, all right. Now, I don't, I don't claim to be the one that always giving the prophetic and all that. But if God give me a word, I ain't gonna say it unless He tell me to say it. Concerning us, he's saying to us, Give Samuel back to me. All right. My God. Give him back. Yeah. And watch what I do with him. Yeah. And I'm going to do wonderful things with him. And when I start giving it back, then, then I've been God's God. I even had people that came by. I didn't know how to put up no sheep rock. <laughs> So I saw people headed to the soup kitchen, and they had this, what is this, pan underneath, you know, uh, that they, the sheet rockers used to spread the mud. 
Okay, all right. Does Fred the mud? Yeah. I just say, hey man, can you put up sheet rock? He said, yeah. <laughs> the joker came in there and messed my wall up. <laughs> but it was all good. What I did, I bust the move. Oh, I ain't got nobody to because God already knew he was who he was going to send to straighten it up. But I had to at least start something. Look at somebody tell me, you want to start something? You got to start something. Stop looking for God to just make it happen. Come on.
But listen to what the Lord said to me. He said, that's all. Oh, I ain't got nobody in this place. So what I said to him, I said, okay, God, then help me, help me do 23 million. That sounds impossible, don't it? No. It's not impossible with God. Because you're not going to do it. Hello, somebody here. So I look at somebody and tell them, let's just make sure all of us touch somebody. Somebody knows something that God wants me to know. 
God can ship you to the scriptures. So he can't do it, you know. But then I learned that you got to give God permission yes. 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 to work with you. Yes. Yes. He's a gentleman. He ain't just so coming in. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So you got to give him permission. I, I give you permission to help me. I give you permission to change me. I give you permission. Yes. Do you hear what I'm saying? When you give him permission, then he has access. Then he can come and do whatever he needs to do. Somebody just lift your hand and just say, God, I give you permission. Do whatever you want to do with me. God, help us and I'll give him praise because access is here. Yeah. 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 He would allow things 
used to take place yes. to see if you will be faithful. Help us here. Yes, sir. So you can't just say just because you got a little cold or, you know, say I'm not feeling say too it. good. Say you know. facts. Well, so what? Come on, sit in the back of the church. Listen. And let the glory of God yes, be on you. Say yes, sir. Because if you don't do something, yes, then he's not obligated to do anything. Uh, come on, sir.